I'm Mrs. Story, your librarian at Eastlake High School. This is Cosmic, and he's going to help me do my story time book talks today for the month of May. So these are my favorite books for May story time. One Great Lie by Deb Coletti, Realistic Fiction. This is the latest by local author Deb Coletti. In this story, Charlotte is a senior at Roosevelt High School in Seattle and wins a scholarship for a writing internship in Venice, Italy with rock star mega popular writer Luca Bruni. She thinks this is the break she's been waiting for, but Bruno is not an ethical person. And when she finds out what he has been doing and also wants to do to her, she breaks the silence. I love how this author infers something intense will happen, but you don't know how it's going to play out. The author also starts each chapter with an excerpt from a female Italian poet that society would have liked to forget. Turtle Under Ice by Julia Del Rosario, Realistic Fiction. Rowena and Ariana are grieving the loss of their baby sister after their father remarried, and unfortunately, the way Ariana copes is to run away. Rowena is left behind to cope with wondering where her sister might be and navigating the waters of home and school life. Told in verse, the story is powerful and moving, and also super suspenseful because the disappearance of Ariana is very mysterious. Putting all the pieces together are flawlessly blended with a memory Rowena has of her mother telling her about how turtles can live under ice. It's told in verse. Highly recommend. All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. This is a true story autobiography memoir. This true story memoir is a tell-all about what it was like for George to grow up African-American and gay in New Jersey. His willingness to be vulnerable in hopes of helping other teenagers dealing with similar struggles is inspiring and moving. My favorite part of this memoir is the chapter about his grandmother. Their relationship was so strong and I think a good example of how families can unify and do whatever it takes to support whatever their kids might be facing. Highly recommend nonfiction. Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo, Realistic Fiction. Camino in the Dominican Republic and Yaharia in New York City are sisters and they have never met each other. When their father dies, they learn of each other's existence, and they have very mixed feelings about how to move forward. Told in verse, the story pulls you in and does not let go. Each portion I read was like eating a Pringles potato chip. You just keep going and eat more. This author has reached new heights with her verse and storytelling after the award-winning book, Poet X, which I also love. Sanctuary is a sci-fi dystopia by Paula Mendoza and Abby Sherman. In 2023, the United States government gives everyone a chip with a tracking device and only citizens and quote-unquote legals get one. Valley and her parents have forged ones in order to survive the strife. And after their mother is taken from them, Vali and her brother set out to find a relative in the only state that has sanctuary for people, which is California. Vali's brother, having been born in America, has a real chip, but her own fake one starts to malfunction and she knows the clock is ticking. The story is fast paced and has many moving and powerful twists that not only keep you turning the pages, but make you think critically about social justice. Legend Born by Tracy Dion. 
This is a modern fantasy, and out of all the books today, I am most excited about this one. When Bree Matthews is accepted to an early college program in a prestigious university along with her high school bestie, Alice, she has to deal with way more than the typical, maybe best friends in high school shouldn't be roommates in college situation. After her mother's death just months before, she is haunted by a feeling type of memory. She doesn't know why, but she knows that a Merlin tried to wipe her memory after her mother died in a car crash. What excites me the most about this book is how it takes the Arthurian legend with characters like Arthur Pendragon, Sir Gawain, and Morgane into the 21st century with exciting ease and includes another legend of magic called Root that is from Bree's African-American heritage. The combination of fast-paced action, dynamic characters, and social justice make this story a win-win in so many ways. I hope this author is ready to write more because she's going to be in demand. Highly, highly recommend. Charming as a Verb by Ben Felipe. And this is realistic comedy. And also it is Cosmic's favorite of today because there are a lot of dogs in the story. In this story, Henry Haltewanger is a gifted influencer and charming teen who usually gets what he wants with his smile. A good example is his questionable uptown up dogs dog walking business which of which he is the only employee but the website makes it look like you know it's a real company um he also is a scholarship student at one of new york city's elite private schools and first generation in an immigrant family and his parents have really high hopes for his future, which is mainly to go to Columbia University. Then he meets a classmate who also lives in his building and he ends up meeting his match in more ways than one. This story is equal parts delightful, hilarious, and also moving. Like Ben Felipe's other award-winning book, Field Guide to the North American Teenager, I was rooting for all the characters to find their way and figure everything out, and also wiping my eyes from crying, laughing, rolling on the ground emoji type of comedy. Highly recommend. So does Cosmic, right? <laughs> if you want any of these books, uh, you can go to the EHS library website and fill out the book request form or you can email me at kastory at lwsd.org. Right, Cosmic? Right. See you next time.